This is the last call of the day, so we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels are posted. This video is for information purpose only, not a recommendation to buy Sunny Stock Mart ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have crude oil, your one minute and your five minute chart. Now, this was a really, really great trade here today, even though maybe to some people it just didn't look like it. But here, we can see, if we take here on this five-minute chart, okay, this was what happened in pre-market here today. It got as low as 74.58. Now, if you look at Friday's low, I'm going to show you here on a daily and a weekly chart that it got down to 74.52, okay? So when we look at the bottom of this candle, see, right there is your 74.58. You can see where it sold right on down. Then what we had is we had a green candle, and then we had a higher green candles here going on. Okay, so this is where I took the trade, uh, not on that candle, but right on this candle here. Okay, I went in, into UCO. Now, you were riding it very, very nice. You went all the way to the top here. But if you look at it, even though this came down, this came down to a red candle, but you put in a higher low. Okay, and then the next candle, right to it. Now, remember, this is a fast a five-minute chart, so this is moving pretty fast. Okay, and then what it is, it rallied all the way on up here. Now, when it came up to here, when I see this topping tail, see that topping tail? That's where I took the trade off. Okay, so that was very, very good trading on the UCO. Then it came on down, held the 21 day, went right back up here. I did not take this trade here. Okay, I just let that sit because then we have another topping tail, and then it came all the way on down here again. Now, it came down, put a red candle in, but then we put this big green candle in here again. Okay, so this was actually a nice trade, went all the way back up to this level here. But then when you see this green candle here, okay, you're making a lower high. But then when you come over two candles, you see that red candle. That's where you got to take the trade off again. And when I see this, then when it started rolling over, then it was for me, once I got below this 100-day, you could see where this was going to be a short trade once we start losing everything what we had here, okay? So once it would dump out with this big red candle, that's why I went short and I am still short with a uh, ETF SCO because right now this is looking ugly. But when you see this in, in pre-market, pre-market is your friend, okay? That's the time you wanna buy, but that's not doesn't mean it's a buy and hold, especially with crude oil, especially what's going on here now. You wanna take the trade, run it up as high as you can. When you see these topping tails, Take that off, okay? Then I say you can take another scalp here because it held the 21 day. That would have been very nice. But I waited until we had something a little bit more solid, and then we just rallied right on up here very, very nicely, okay? So when you see this cracking, okay, when you see this big red candle here and we cracked, basically, see that 258? And it cracked all the way on down. Once you start losing Friday's low, that's 74.52, then you know you got to take a short because now you're putting in lower lows, and then they can take that nice short going all the way down. Now what I'm going to do is wait for the futures to open at 6 o'clock, and we'll see what kind of reaction we're going to get. So when you look at the one-minute chart here, what do we got here? Okay. Right there is your uh, right there is your 74.58. So when you look at a one minute chart, it's the same thing. See how nice this is? How this played right out here? Look at this. See, and then we had that double top situation going on. Okay. Then when she came down, look at this nice run that we had up here again. Okay. Let me see if I can big that up for you. Okay. Look at this nice run that we had all the way up again. Then when you see all this topping situation. And when you start losing and see that red candle and you lose Friday's low, that told me I have to go short. So that's how we trade the crude on a one minute and a five minute chart, okay? So always look for a bottom, but it's gotta be a higher low is what I look for than the previous days. In this case, it was the Friday's low, okay? So I look for that higher low and then I just try to run it up. But again, you don't need to carry it all the way onto the top. This is when I always say, just try to get that meat in the middle, Get out of it and then look for another trade. But on, when you look on the one minute chart, this was a really good trade where you can see where it ran up and it was holding that SMAs here 
all the way on up here. Then when you start seeing all this stuff on the top, that's told me I had to get the hell out. And then when we see you're losing Friday low, that told me I had to get short. Okay, let's take a look here on a daily and a weekly chart. Okay, here we have a daily and a weekly chart. This is what I was talking about right here just earlier, okay? This is what I was watching here, and I told you, I said, you always watch the high and the low of the previous candle. This was Friday's high and low. So what we had here, that was at 74.52. This morning in pre-market, it got down to 74.58. That's where you take the trade. Then when she runs all the way up here, see this how, where you compare different charts, okay? It ran up to 75.83 uh, uh, level. Okay, so what you always want to do is look to the left here. Okay, so you had 74.84, uh, 75.84, which you didn't quite make the resistance. So what I was watching on this is, are we going to blow through this? So I always look to the left of the chart and see what I can do for the next level. So I'm looking at this candle here at that 75.84, and I can see it on other charts, like I just showed you, where it's starting to stall out here. Okay, so that's really not what you want to see. Then if it would have kept on running, then I would look to the top of this candle here at that 76.52 and then obviously at that 76.54 level, which is your big resistance. But it never got there. It stalled right out here. So that's why you use a one minute, a five minute a chart here to take a look and compare all the charts just to see. So like in my office, I have two PCs. I have 10 screens. Okay, I have a tick chart, one, five, 15 minute, you know, a 30 minute, an hourly chart, four hour chart daily, weekly, monthly, all on the board at the same time. So it's very easy and very clear to see. Now, again, I don't need that to trade, but when I'm in my office, I like to have, make it life very, very easy. So we can see where it was just running out of juice. It wasn't going to get to that next level. That told me to sell that long position here and then look for a possible another scalp, which I got another scalp on it. But once we lost this key level right here, which I told you this morning, that's 74.52, once you start losing that, see how this was all lining up here very nice? Once you start losing that, then you got to take the short trade and look at here what is happening, okay? So there's nothing bullish about this at all. See the series of lower highs, lower lows? This is ugly. This looks like it just wants to go lower. So let's just look at what we had for today's low. We had 73.45. So your next level here is going to be right here. Look at the bottom of the candle. You're going to be looking at 72.97 is your next level. And then we're going to be looking here at 72.58. And then we have 72.20. And then we can come all the way down here to the 71.67, which is looking very, very possible. Now, midday trading I was telling you about this inverse head and sh uh, shoulders pattern with left shoulder, head, right shoulder. That is now negated, okay? Since we have this sell-off, that pattern is no longer intact, okay? So this is what we're looking for here. Ultimately, we look here on the weekly. We're looking for that 76.67 level. Now, again, if that's lost, then what we do, we just start following these candles down here, okay? So you got 71.41. Then we have uh, 70.50. Then we're going to have uh, 70.13. We have 69.28, and then we're going to go 68.80, and then your big retest down here is 67.71. Now, that's going to be the target here if that 71.67 there is lost, okay? So this is a trading market. This is not a buy and hold, but when you see this kind of a situation, this is like a perfect setup for a trader. Once you see you breaking that previous day's low, that means you got to take a short down. When it held it in in, in pre-market this morning, that tells me I can take a long and I'm going to have a scalp up at least half that candle. So you just look to the left for resistance. If it can't get there, then, you know, dump your shares and then wait and see patiently. See if you can get another scalp going here. As long as you're holding, okay, that low, once you lose that low, then for me, it's a shorty all the way on down. Okay, so now we have to look here at the upside, right? There isn't really a whole lot of upside. You sit right here at 73.83 level. Okay, so now we're just going to do the reverse of what we had. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at the top of that candle at 74.46. Here we have a 74.56 level here. This is the key level that you need to get back above is that 74.60 right there, okay? See, this is what you need to get back above. Then we just can start ratcheting it up. But your big target is going to be that 21 day. Now, when those futures open here at 6 p.m., this 21 day is not going to be 76.54 anymore. This is going to be lower. That 20, that eight day is going to be lower. So that's what you're trading at and your big resistant levels, okay? So again, when those futures open, 
watch today's high, watch today's low, and then watch the closing number. That is what you're going to be trading against for tomorrow. Okay, let's take a look here at natural gas. Now, natural gas was an absolutely great trade today. I didn't do anything on no short side, uh, but I did there on the old long side on UNG. I already scalped it twice, and I am still long on my second scalp on UNG, okay? The reason being is very simple, because it held this 21 SMA, and you are now above that eight simple moving average, okay? And we have a bullish engulfing candle, which means you engulfed the previous day's candle. Look at that. See how you engulfed that bad boy? Look at there. Engulfed that bitch. Look at that, okay? Now what we're looking for is we're looking for, on the upside, is we're looking for this 2.26. That's that 100-day. See, because you can see here in the past, look at these four candles. Did we get above? Yes. Did we close above? Hell no. That's the key is closing above that 100-day, 2.26. If it gets above that, then we're going to look at that 230. That's the next level. And then we're going to look here at that 2. Uh, roughly 3.3 is your 200-day. And then we have 2.37. Above that, then it's going to be very, very nice because then we can just follow these candles and take them right on up. Downside, you've got to watch this 8 SMA. Very, very key. That is going to be downside. So watch them futures. Remember, a contract roll will be next Sunday on the old Natty Gas. Now, that there, but Thursday is going to be key because last week was the first time week in long, long time in months that you actually had a draw in natural gas of 6 billion cubic feet. Other than that, we had builds of 20, 30, 40, 60, kind of a billion, a billion cubic feet. So we had a draw, so we got to see Thursday what kind of what we're going to get here. It might start propelling natural gas higher, okay? So always watch this 8 day on the downside, 2.18. Then we want to watch that 2.10. That is going to be very, very critical there on the downside. The upside right there is that 100 day. We get above that, then we just follow 2.30, your 200 day, your 50 day, and then maybe we can blast this bad boy right on up. Your RSI, plenty of room to run. MACD looking very, very good. Now, when you get the weekly chart here, now you can see here so far for the week, we are above that eight day at 2.15, and that's always very good. Then we're going to have to do deal with is going to be this 21 day. That's at 2.27, uh, so that's going to line up very, very nice here with your 100 day. We can get above that, then we can start hitting those targets, and then we have this nice big target at 2.42, which is your 50 SMA once we get through this 200 day and that 50 day, okay? But right now, we're above that 8. That's looking very good. Now we want to get above that 21 day. We want to take this price higher, okay? So let's just see how it all shakes out. But right now, you had a nice, good bullish engulfing candle, and this is looking very, very good. Okay. Uh, remember, watch those futures there at 6 p.m. on crude oil and natural gas and see where you stand and always trade against the candle of today, okay? Because the future will be different. That candle will be a separate candle. So watch that high and that low, okay? And that closing number, that's what you are trading against. Okay, remember, trade what is in front of you, not what you want.